Hello and welcome to Nicole North Garden Stitches. This is my cross stitch floss tube channel where I share all these stitchy things in my life. Here we go. Hello you all. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I am doing well. I know it's been a little while um, since I recorded a video. There will be explanation. <laughs> uh, today I am going to be updating you on my cross stitch let's see i have a cross stitch finish or two i have two finishes and then i also have some works in progress i have a magazine i have um i do have a haul but i don't know if i'm going to show the haul we'll see we'll see how time goes uh yeah so that's what we'll be doing today first some life updates so regarding why i haven't filmed a video in a while um here's what happened we went to California. So my last video I filmed at the end of January. And then like a week or two later, we went to California for a vacation and just everything got off kilter because like a lot of the daily things that I was doing, I completely couldn't do while we were on vacation just because our schedule is really tight. We're doing a lot of things. So that was like my book of days, which is the cross stitch journal where I was keeping track of everything that I stitch every day, et cetera, et cetera. Um, totally that got away from me. So I haven't kept that up at all. And then, um, my temperature cross stitch, which was the daily cross stitch that I was working on each day. I did up until that trip. And then, um, I didn't know, I kind of got like flummoxed because I didn't know, should I stitch based on the temperature that I was experiencing out in California, or should I stitch based on Minnesota's temperature? You know, so I think I'm leaning towards doing the temperature of where I am. And this is something I never like asked myself, you know, because I don't go on a lot of vacations and I didn't really think it would be an issue. But I think I'm going to stitch based on where I am and maybe like, you know, in my journal, keep a little footnote that I was in California or something. Um, or maybe I could. I don't know. I don't know. I just think it would be cool like to keep a record of like where I was. And actually what's funny is the, we were in the San Diego area and the temperatures there weren't that different from what Minnesota was doing at the time. So that's a little funny. I haven't decided yet. I mean, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. It's more like, what do I want it to represent? And honestly, it's not like that's going to be like a family heirloom piece, you know, that I'm going to pass down to my children. It's really just something fun I'm doing for myself. Maybe I'll put it in a cross, in a cross stitch, um, scrapbook, which I've seen people do with like pictures or something from, you know, that month or whatever, or from that year. Sorry. And, um, yeah. So in which case I could explain why the colors change a little. So that's why I'm leaning that way. But I don't really know. I haven't decided. And I haven't picked up the, the uh, temperature stitch again. So I'm like a month behind now. And if I'm not careful, I will get so far behind that I won't be able to like recoup it. So I'm going to make that a goal for the week for this week is just try to get caught up on that temperature cross stitch. So uh, I didn't even bring it upstairs. Honestly, I did make progress beyond where I was last time. But um, I'm definitely not caught up to now. So so that's the scoop. That is why my video was so delayed. But our trip was great. Um, we got to see Hannah and her friend joined us for a weekend while we were out there. Plus, Chris's sister is out there. So we were able to visit with her. And so that was really fun. And yeah, it was just a really, really great trip. We um, made it like a Big Bang Theory uh, inspired trip because we love Big Bang Theory, the show. And so while we were out there, we went to Pasadena. I have some vlogs about this. We went to Pasadena. That's on my Nicole North Garden Home and Garden channel. And um, yeah, so we went to Pasadena one of the days, went to the Cheesecake Factory, which if you know the show, you'll know these references. We, and then on our last day there, we actually visited the set. So there's still like a walking tour and you can visit the set of the Big, Big Bang Theory. So that was very cool. I mean, it's not the original set. They've moved it since it was filming on a soundstage, but it's a lot of the same, you know, pieces and furniture and et cetera, et cetera. So that was super cool. And yeah, it was really fun. So we had a great trip and now we're back. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's just March. Nothing, nothing, uh, super fun or exciting happening. So I have, um, I feel like I didn't stitch for a while. 
after I got back from California, or I was very sporadically stitching, but I feel like I've gotten my groove back now, which is nice. Um, okay, so let's go ahead. I guess first I'll show you my finishes. So this was, um, hmm, I don't even know. Did I put, let me see if I put the pattern away, hopefully. Also, if you're wondering why the door behind me is open, I am here alone and the dogs, I, um, so it's, I have two dogs and then we're watching my daughter's dog, Maddie, um, his, the dog's name is Finley because she is, um, on a work trip. So I have the door open in case they want to like come in because this way maybe they won't scratch the door, which is something they tend to do. Okay. This pattern is by Lou Who Stitches. It's called Mousy Sweetheart. I think I got it from one, two, three cross stitch. So that's what it looks like. Now I did mine, I left out this detail of the little hearts. You can see, because, um, okay, so my pink fabric wound up being lighter than what they recommended. I wound up, I used an Ada, but it wound up being lighter. And so you really can't see white very well on here. So I left out those hearts and then I did wind up back stitching around the little mouse guy with some gray just to set it off a little. So, um, yeah. So it shows up a little better and even more so in person. So that is my mousy sweetheart. I am going to turn this into a heart pillow. I fully intended to do it in February, but again, I just kind of lost my groove for a little while there. So, but I think he's darling. And I was actually considering adding like a word like sweetheart or something. I don't think I put mousy sweetheart, but just sweetheart or... I don't know. I don't know. Some kind of Valentine E word. Uh, but I haven't really committed to that. We'll see when I go to fully finish it, which I'm planning to do as a little heart pillow, just like the example. Um, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Okay. So that is my first finish. Let me grab something. My second finish, again, it's not fully finished, it's just a finish. It is called In the Pink. And it wasn't like necessarily intended as a valentine's day stitch i did it as a valentine's day stitch i gotta hold that really close because i know it's hard to see that picture so i just thought it was really cute but it's not so valentine-y that i can't keep it out the rest of the year because i want to you remember i saw i showed you in my last video i got this from the thrift store for a dollar 99 and i really want to um finish this as a square and then clip it in here because you'll see the colors so this is the finish and I love how it turned out. I left off um, the border so you can kind of see there's a green border that goes around the whole thing. I left that off because I don't like framing stuff with a border. It's hard to get it to look straight. So I left that off, um, but the rest I did. And it's not the assigned color that as called for colors. I just kind of used things that were close from my stash. But I super love this and I think it's going to look really pretty. Ooh, that was really bad. There we go. You can kind of see there. I think it's going to look really pretty clipped to this because um, it's small enough that you'll be able to see some of the um, flowers and the pink and the greens. So I think that's going to be really pretty. I'm super excited about that. And that will be an, wow, I just showed you the back. This is the front. <laughs> My backs are never super neat, by the way. But, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so that is in the pink. Before I get to my works in progress that I've actually been working on, I want to show you this again. So this is my long time work in progress. Haven't changed anything since I showed it to you last. But what I was asking the last time. So the story here is that uh, back in the late, gosh, it must have been 1998, 1999. Um, I wanted to design a sampler for me and Chris. And so I got this far and then I never designed what I was going to put in here. Or maybe I had some ideas on the paper that I have, but I think I never committed um, to what it was going to be. So uh, the last time I made a video, I was asking for ideas. Well, one of you or some of you, a few of you probably, well, a few of you really um, said I should do something to represent our family. because, And I think that's so cool because when I designed this, our family was not complete. We may have had Maddie, depending on what year it was when I designed this, 
We might not have even had Maddie yet though. Maddie's my oldest. So it's possible we had no children when I designed this. So I just think it's really cool to come back to a project that's so old that now my family is complete and grown and flown. And I just think that's really cool. So I think the idea that I like the best, um, I'm going to stitch cross stitch people that will represent each of us and possibly like our dogs. I don't know. I haven't decided that yet, but I was looking at some cross stitch books. You can get books that have like motifs in them. And I actually found one at the thrift store. Um, I don't think I bought it, but I, I took a picture of the cover in case I want to, if it's something I want to get online. So yeah, that's what I will probably do. I just have to find the right style of person. I want it to look like old timey, you know, like old fashioned, um, just to go with the style of the sampler. So I think that'll be really cute. That's what I've decided to do. Now I actually have to get it done, which, okay, I'm going to set a goal that I get that done by 2024, by the end of 2024. That'll be my goal. Dogs barking, they're out on the deck. So let's move on to my works in progress. So now that Mousy Sweetheart and the, um, the In the Pink are done, are finished, there's only three projects plus temp temperature stitch that I'm cycling through right now. Um, and I haven't been working on temperature stitch. So it's really only been three works in progress that I've been working on actively. So that's what I'm going to show you. Um, okay, let's start with this one. And this one is called Swedish Mittens. It's from the Cricut Collection. And I am doing this. But I am not doing the called for colors. This pattern is from 1996. And so the colors that I'm interested in, even though they really would match with the colors of this, don't really match what I do in my house anymore. So that's why I'm just, and I'm actually just picking colors that I like as I go. So I've made some really good progress on this. I think when I last showed you, I had part of, I had most of the trees done and part of, I think the blue band underneath. And I will insert pictures to show you where I was. And now, this is where I'm at. So I've gotten that blue band done and uh, mitten, and now I'm working, is that? No, this one's not quite done, but working on the second mitten. And this one, I am actually stitching in hand right now because I did not leave enough of a border um, here <laughs> to go in my hoop. And so I had to pull it out because um, it was really distorting the fabric because I think I've told you this is a very loose fabric. It's a casual linen and it was um, getting distorted. And so it's just easier to stitch it in hand. So I'm stitching it without a hoop right now. I might hoop it up once I get more towards the center again. Um, but for stitching here on the edges, it was just easier to do it in hand. So I did not leave myself a lot of extra fabric, but I think it's going to be fine. I think it's just going to fit. I'm not exactly sure why I did that, but, um, you know, these things happen. Um, and we'll see if I can get, cause I think what, I think I figured it out. I just need another band and then room for another pair of mitten, another set of mittens up here. It's going to go kind of close to the edge, but I think it's going to be okay. And if not, I can just leave off you know, the other row of mittens and do something else up there. Never afraid to change a pattern if I have to. So anyway, so that is Swedish mittens and it's on a cashel linen, 28 count, I think it was. Um, yeah. Okay. Then the other one, um, so one of the other ones, so again, this is the second one that I've been working on actively is flea market flowers and um yeah this is my progress and i think um oh my hair is in my face the last time i showed it to you all i had was this little uh petal and this is like a lot of stitches this is on 18 count ada in antique white i think and yeah so it's very it's a lot of stitches um, I had hoped to be done with this quadrant by the end of March that, sorry, but was it the end of March? Yeah, by the end of March. So I actually do have time. I still have time. I have two weeks. We'll see. 
we'll see how much progress I can make on that quadrant. Oh, and I should show you the picture. I can show you the picture without showing you the pattern. And here's the picture of what it will look like. So uh, this is the quadrant. Oh, I guess I changed my mind. Oh, no, no. This is the quadrant? I had it. Now I don't remember. I don't remember. I think I got bored and so I went right. But I think I originally was intending to stitch this by the end of March. So I might be able to fin finish these three square blocks. They're not squares, but they're blocks. I think by the end of March, I might be able to finish those three blocks and then go from there. It's beautiful. It's easy to stitch. I love that I picked an Ada. Um, really not much to say about it other than I like it. I'm happy with it. And it's two over two, two over one, two over one. Just kidding. It's two over one is Ada. And then the other one, where is it? Ah, yes. This is the one I absolutely adore, and I've been working on this the most. This, I think, I think it's a new start. I can't remember. I didn't see this in my other video. I did watch my other video back. I think this is a new start. So, here it is. It is called Jack Rabbit. Is that right? It's called The Jack Rabbit, A Year in the Woods by Cottage Garden Samplings. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Oops, there he is. That was a reflection, sorry. Now, the only thing I might change, I don't love the orange in his ears. I would be willing to do like a pinky orange, but like, I really want them to be pink. So I might just do them pink. What is this? What is happening? I just got a fuzz on my cross stitch fabric. I don't know what that is. Um, so yeah, I might, I'm not doing the orange. I know that for sure. Um, and I'm also not doing the orange, the dark orange in the house. I might keep the lighter. Um, I'm not really sure. I, I'm not an orange girl. It's not my, it's not my favorite color. So, um, but I love this pattern. I love that rabbit. And oh, wait till I show you. I love the flowers and the way they look with the leaves and the vines. That's what I've worked on mostly. And I just love it. I think it's beautiful. Now I am doing it too threads two over one I'm doing two over one it's a little tight but I like it I like the coverage I'm getting and it's just with DM it's mostly DMC um mostly the called for with the exception of the orange and I did swap out they only called for one over dyed and I actually swapped out one of the other DMCs for another over dyed for the body of the bunny so the bunny will have the over dyed floss and then the rest of it is DMC. So, and I went to Stitchville USA, which is my local needle shop. I think it's in Minnetonka and which is West of Minneapolis. And the lady there, I think she's the owner and she helped me and we found an over dye that would work. Like, you know, instead of the DMC, she was so sweet. Um, I really appreciated the help she gave me. So and she spent time with me figuring it out. So I really appreciated that. So yes, those are my works in progress. So um, my hair's coming out of my clip. Don't mind me. So I do have a little bit of a haul. Where are we at? I'm at like 20 something minutes. I have a little time. Okay, sorry for the crinkles. All right, so uh, what is this? Oh, yeah. All right, a few things, a few things. So I wanted to try this Hollis Hands Creates um, 18 count fox and rabbit um, Ada. I think it's Ada, right? I just wanted to see what it was like. Um, yeah, I just wanted to check it out. And so I ordered one in a color tornado. I thought that was kind of cool. I think I'm going to do a Halloween piece on this. I have like a little um, haunted house. Um, I think that would be cute. So I just kind of wanted to check it out because everyone raves about this fabric. It's kind of expensive for my budget, if I'm being honest, but I wanted to check it out. You know, it's hand dyed, so there's skill that goes into creating it. Um, yeah, so I like it. I'm happy with it. I probably won't do most of my projects on it, but I just wanted to see kind of what all the hype was about. Then while I was at Stitchville, I picked up some fabric. I don't even know why I did because I'm, I think because it, it was still back in January and I thought maybe I was going to start this. I'm not starting this right now, but I have this pattern. I think I've shown it to you. It's called nice snowflakes. I love it. 
now I have the fabric that I'm going to do it on. It's uh, an 18 count light mocha Ada. And, um, but I'm not gonna do this right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna tuck these away in my little organizer and I will know that I intend to stitch this on this fabric so that when I go to kit it up, I'm not wondering, what was I gonna do this on? So yeah, so I got that at Stitchville, but then I also, I got a ton of stuff. I raided the clearance room. Well, yeah, so I raided the clearance fabric, first of all, and despite what I've said, that I'm not gonna do casual linen. I did find this and I thought it was a beautiful color. It is, do they say the color? No, they don't say the color, but it was only $4 for this piece. And there's um some Christmas ornaments that I want to stitch up. Not right now, but I thought this would be a good option for those. So that's what that's for. And then I also got this 32 count dark gray silver Belfast linen. I forget what this was for. It was a while ago. I'm the worst. Oh, I definitely had something specific in mind for this. And I couldn't tell you what it is. We'll figure it out. At some point, I'll figure that out. Darn, I really have no clue. Maybe it's in my notes somewhere. I'm telling you, I had a big hiccup in my stitching. <sighs> Sometimes that happens. Okay, so now I want to show you what I got from the clearance room. Oh my gosh. And this is why I don't want to do any more winter stitching because I want to move on. Look at these. So this is called Elizabeth. So these are all clearance. This one was $5. Elizabeth's Needlework Designs Brown Bird Sampler. Oh my gosh, I love this. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, it doesn't, oh, 2018. This is from 2018. And then, ah, oh, I love this one. Black Sheep Redo, book one, eight designs. I paid $9.75 for it, but it's eight, it's eight patterns. And it's by You and I and Friends, which is, I think the other one was called You and I Design. So maybe this was a later iteration of that company. But look at these. Oh my gosh. The bunny, the sheep, the house. Love that. And there's a cute little snowman with a bird. And then I love this fall one. Yeah. And then there's a spring or maybe that's summer. And then fall and I don't know a nutcracker is that a nutcracker so yes I thought that was adorable so for $9.75 I got eight patterns that's actually very good and then I got this this will not be done for this Easter but oh my gosh how cute would these look in a little primitive bowl like a dough bowl so this is spring eggs one by homespun elegance I paid $3.75 for it And, oh, I love this. I love them all. This was $3, Ships Manor, and it says, Tis Spring. Love it. And, Hair's Spring. You can tell where my mind was in January, right? Hair's Spring. This is by Plum Street Samplers. Love it. And that's a nice small one, so that'll be easy to stitch up. And then Annie B's Folk Art for $5, Sheltering Tree Spring. So I guess there's one of these for each season. I haven't looked into it, but I love this. Very primitive looking, but I like the colors. It'll go in my bedroom. I would like to do see if I can find all four of these and do them for my bedroom. And this is cool. Country Spirits Spring Gathering by Homespun Elegance. I paid $3.25. So cute. So cute. And one more. This one is Bunnies and Blooms. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this so much. I absolutely want to do this one and add another bunny so that it looks like our family. So it was four, it would be four children and the mom and the dad. Oh my goodness. So cute. Yeah. And then the, like there's a border, there's the, I mean, it's just really adorable. You can split it all different ways to make different things. And I paid three twenty five, dollars and it's a booklet. So, so that was great. So yes, I love the clearance room at Stitchville USA. You can't beat it. Okay. So those are, that's my haul. 
with my mystery fabric, my casual linen. I really, really want to remember what I was planning. Ah, I know. It just came to me. The terrarium. The um, tiny modernist terrarium. Where is that pattern? I don't think I kitted it yet. But maybe I did. Oh, I totally did. Well, I sort of did. Okay, so this is tiny modernist night terrarium. I told you I didn't want to do it on black. And some of you suggested gray. So that's why I got this. And I thought it would look really cute because it looks like it has stars in the night sky. Oh, it's all coming back to me now. <laughs> now I know why I bought this. So yes, I love this. That's what's going on here. I'm going to put them together so that I don't forget again. They're somewhat kitted up sort of ish. Ish, I'm not planning to start that right now, but. Um, but I, you know, I have two finishes, so I really could start something new, but I really want to just work on the things I have going right now, but maybe I'll start one spring thing, one spring thing, because I also, ah, I have just cross stitch magazine and there are so many patterns in here. I subscribed, by the way, this is the first magazine subscription I've had since like, I don't even remember. I used to subscribe to Martha's. Martha Stewart living, but that's years ago now. Um, so yeah, I don't remember the last time I had a magazine subscription, but I love this magazine. So worth it. I think I paid $30, but it's like, I think you get four in a year or six. I think it's four, but there's so many patterns. You see what you pay. And those are good prices on those patterns. I mean, you can pay a lot on a pattern. So to get this many patterns in one book, for, you know, whatever, $6 or whatever, you know, it's fabulous. And so the first one I really, there's two I definitely want to do. I should have marked them. Okay, so the one I know I want to start soon is Miss Bunny's Market. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And I have, um, what is that called? That, um, oh my gosh, this metal stuff. I can't remember what it's called, but um, I have a, a like a, a flower planter thing that hangs on the wall that is that metal. And so I thought I would do that with some pink flowers and just make something like this for inside, obviously. Oh my gosh, these are like peonies, I think. So I think the whole thing will be beautiful. And I don't care that it's bunnies. I'm going to do it for spring. Um, you know, bunnies are spring, not Easter. So that will be just fine. So I'm going to start that. It won't be done this year anyway. I'm sure it won't be done by summer. It probably won't be done by Christmas. Who knows? But I love it. And then the other one I want to do is this one. Hummingbird Garden. I just think it's gorgeous. Now this, is, this one would take a long time. And I don't endeavor to do many big projects like this because I worry about getting them finished. But I do think I might like to do this one. And then there's another one in here that's like Welcome Spring or something, which I also really like. But for sure, I'm starting with that Miss Bunny's whatever, Miss Bunny's. What did I say it was called? Miss Bunny's Garden? Miss Bunny's Market. That's the first one I'm going to start with. I love it. So if I start something new by the time I speak with you again, that's what it's going to be. Miss Bunny's Market. Forget about everything else I've kitted up. I want to do a spring stitch and I'm going to, so... Okay, so I think, I think that's all I have to share with you today. We did whips, we did finishes, we did haul, we've got some plans. Um, I'm going to shoot for once a month on a video. I just needed to slow things down. I mentioned on my other channel, my big channel, I have um, another channel called Nicole North Garden Thrifter. And I'm just working on like slowing things down, you know, um, and that even applies to my cross stitching. I don't want it to be something I am rushing to finish so I can film a video. I don't want any part of that. So I'm just going to stitch and once a month make a video and that'll be that. And hopefully that'll be good. So anyway, so thank you so much for sitting with me today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening and yes, happy stitching. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hello and welcome to Nicole North Garden Stitches. This is my cross stitch channel where, where wow. Blah, 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 blah. Hello and welcome to Nicole North Garden Stitches. This is my cross tube. Wow. Nope. No, it isn't.